Just going to do a little video on things to plant for your bees. This is a, hope I'm saying it, getting it right, Korean Evoda tree, or what we currently know as a BB tree. This tree is like four years old. Last year it had one or two little blooms about like that on it. This year it's about eight foot tall. As you can see, the honeybees and native pollinators, even the hornets, it's a bold faced hornet. Love it. Look at all your small little bees. You got honeybees, you got some kind of flies, you got wasps. But if you think about it, <clears throat> excuse me, you think about it, people talk about planting clover. I've got some clover in the yard, all up along the driveway. In the driveway, around back, there's plenty of clover. But you think about it, and this tree will get huge. But the thing is, it's basically for every full grown tree, you're looking at around one acre of space. So you take all of this front yard, I'm not a good guess at acreage, but I'd probably say all of this front yard is maybe three quarters of an acre less. <clears throat> you take an average tree that produces blooms, and I'll link the guy's video in the description that talks about a tree is basically an acre in the air. Look at all them honeybees on that. And this is at five o'clock in the afternoon after it's played out. I should have been out here during the middle of the day because I was out here yesterday during the middle of the day picking up limbs where I'd cut and I just didn't think about doing a video, but it sounded like an airport over here. But anyway, we're gonna do a comparison. I'm gonna walk down here and look at another bee magnet called a chase tree or vitex it's also blooming you don't see you see a few honeybees on it there's a few don't see a lot of native pollinators on this compared to that tree probably going a little too fast I need to slow down what I've noticed on these there's a honeybee. But what I've noticed on these, I get more of the exotic looking native pollinators on this. I've seen some beautiful indigo solitary bees. Just a bunch of beautiful bees, but there's 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 a bunch of honeybees on it, but nowhere near like that small little tree over there. And this one is, I think this bush is like three three years old as you can see I mean it grows it grows exponentially in spring you've got over a foot growth there with bloom on it the BB tree doesn't we'll <clears throat> stroll down here and check out another one you got either a bottle bush or an indigo bush there which bees supposedly love and then the one in between those two Vitex is either the, either or the other one. The vi the uh, chase tree here has one. I uh, see about four bees. Bottle bush or gotta love Harley's. Bottle bush or the indigo. Let's see what this one's got on it. The Negrundi is the one that you really want. It's got a few. And we've got the lovely Japanese beetle, which I will execute off him. There is one of those beautiful native pollinators. Where'd, where'd it go? There it is. 
Come on, focus. Anyway, <clears throat> that's just a comparison. It seems like that they love the the BB tree better than they love the chase tree, but it's point you get in that one compact spot, you can get like the gentleman in this video I'm talking about says an acre in the air. And then you can still plant whatever you want underneath. You can plant your white clover. This gentleman's yard across the street. The thing that aggravates me the most is it's beautiful white. And right as it gets in full bloom of the clover, they mow. Enjoy the video. If you liked it and enjoyed it, subscribe, share. You know what all you got to do.